I've been watching uh, some, only some, of the hearings of uh, Judge Katanji Brown Jackson, and uh, quite honestly, they're a little hard to take, in part because she's a little hard to take. I mean, she's just annoying. And, um, and her answers are, um, are um, very strange. And so you're, you're dealing with a, with a radical uh, woman uh, who nevertheless puts on this kind of um, almost colloquial conversational tone, almost as if she's chatting with you in the corner of a street. And, um, and, and I just want to focus on a couple of my favorite episodes uh, from, from the most recent round. Here's uh, Marsha Blackburn. Can you provide a definition of the word woman? <laughs> now, <laughs> take a break for a moment to think about this. Katanji Jackson is on the court because she's a woman, right? She was, Biden says, I, I, I'm going to choose a black woman. So you have to be black and you have to be a woman. So one would think that Katanji Jackson would know what a woman is. Um, and um, so uh, this uh, conversation proceeds like this. Can you provide a definition of the word woman? No, I can't. <laughs> no, she can't. Blackburn, you can't? Jackson, I'm not a biologist. So okay. she's not a biologist, so she can't provide a definition of a woman. This is a woman who wants to be on the Supreme Court, where you deal with issues of gender equity, Title IX, the Equal Protection Clause, you know, no discrimination on the basis of race or sex. So you'd think that knowing what a woman is is kind of a fundamental requirement for being able to adjudicate these cases. Then let's also think about it this way. If she needs a biologist to tell her, what a woman is, or to make a distinction between a woman and a man, does she need an ethnologist to tell her what the distinction is between someone who's black or white? Is it, is it very difficult for her to tell who's black or white? Listen, I, I'm not, I can't say. I would need to consult an ethnologist about this. So this kind of um, stupidity uh, is uh, what we're dealing with in the case of uh, Katanji Jackson. Um, and it continues. I mean, it never stops. Uh, here's Judge Jackson. This is actually, this is not even colloquially from the hearing. This is actually from her, a case that she adjudicated where she gave a very light penalty. By the way, whenever you have these um, cases uh, involving, by the way, the predation against minors, you would think that this is one case where kind of this, this is not going to be a bipartisan issue. The Judge Jackson's going to crack down. No, she actually gives very light sentences, sentences below the guidelines. And what's interesting is her reasoning. Here is a, an 18 year old who was apparently uh, entrapped in a kind of um, a child pornography scheme. He's downloading images of children as young as eight. And now I'm quoting from Judge Jackson. This case is different because the children in the photos and videos you collected we're not much younger than you. Hold it. <laughs> We're not talking about a about an 18-year-old downloading some erotic pictures of a 16-year-old. We're talking about downloading the pictures of an 8-year-old. So think about what she's saying. And then she goes, this seems to be a situation in which you were fascinated. Fascinated is the um, by sexual images involving what were essentially your peers. An 18-year-old is downloading pictures, nude pictures of eight-year-olds. Oh no, that's your peer. I mean, even if you have an eight-year-old sibling and you're 18, you don't talk to him. Um, so now it becomes clear as you probe these cases that in many of these cases, you have perpetrators who are black. And it becomes clear that what Judge Jackson is doing is trying to produce, quote, equity in sentencing. This, by the way, is a big theme of hers. And even though she's denied, oh, critical race theory, never really heard of it. I don't really don't know what that is. In fact, the left keeps telling us critical race theory is not taught in schools. It's only in the law schools. By the way, we're dealing here with a judge. So you think that if it's only in the law schools, it's only part of legal theories that Judge Jackson would be completely familiar with it and be able to state clearly what her position is on it. So this whole thing is an exercise in pure prevarication and camouflage. I think on top of this, you're just dealing with an individual that's kind of dumb. And if this seems kind of surprising, uh, I don't think it's that surprising. And here's why. It, it comes right out of Biden's criterion for picking a judge, right? Uh, and this is not about race. It's not even about gender. Here's what it's about. If you say, I'm going to pick someone who's black, right away, you're narrowing your selection to 13% of the population. Why? Because only 13% of the population is black.
And then if you say, I'm not just going to choose someone who's black, but a black woman, you're cutting that population in half. So now you're down to 6.5%. I think this helps to explain Biden's choice of a mediocrity like Katanji Brown Jackson.